Could you ask that new guy you're dating if he's ever slept with a hooker? Could you ask him that question? That's the kind of thing that Don Martin says that she asks her dates all the time, and she also believes in being upfront about her own sex life. You have to get to know me as a person first. You know, not for what I can offer you sexually. Bravo to you for that. Yeah. And I personally think that society is sexually out of control. Anytime you have to pass out condoms. Anytime you have to pass out condoms in high school, we have a serious problem. I graduated from high school a virgin, and I don't see why other teenagers cannot do the same. I want to commend Dawn for her stand as uh, African-American female, that she's able to stand her ground in a sexually permissive atmosphere. You have to be in love to make love. I already meet enough men that want me for my body. What really uh, perturbs me is when a man walks up to me and says, oh baby, I want to make love to you. And I'm like, that, first of all, that's totally impossible because we're not in love. And I, I also want to say that uh, for me, celibacy allows you to find real love because we're not looking for sex anyway we're looking for love and you are not going to find that in Dark. sex uh, because i believe in making love i'm not in love right now i don't believe in in having sex and um i think that m most people need to know how to control and suppress their physical desires uh, and i've learned to do that and um, it, it takes a lot of discipline for me. It takes a lot for me to maintain my body, to take my vitamins and exercise. And I don't want to have, you know, the local dogs just pawning all over me for no reason at all. Yeah. <clears throat> Making love is a very intimate and personal thing. And I, I don't understand how people can engage in sex, you know, for two or three months and then move on to another sexual partner. It has, for me, it has nothing to really, n not very much to do with, you know, sexually transmitted yeah. diseases but the fact that I have a lot of self-respect for my body and I would not, you know, look as half as good as I look if I let a tenth of the men, you know, pawn over me. And I'm, God, I tell you, get lines. I'm, it, I'm very It's proud. tiring and it yeah, wears yeah, you I'm out. I know what I'm, you mean. I'm very, I'm very proud to say that I've never had an abortion in my life. You should be. And you get to weed out the sex sounds from the men that really want to get to know you as a person and yeah. as a human being. Today, I think that uh, we need women like this that can come right out and straight and, and maybe slow all this down. I you think, think it's so? Because we're fast. getting a little wild. Here. A little too wild. Yeah. This is my body and, and I, I choose to wait on the until. terms. I get that it. I want to. And we'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Dawn, you are obviously a professional model, actress, so show them the monitors, Brian. Here are some uh, professional photographs of Dawn. We need the, there it is. <laughs> wow. Here is uh, a virgin. No, I'm not. Uh, virgin. Next slide. No, celibate. Yeah. Celibate. Uh, no. Yes, no. hello. She's celibate. We're talking celibacy. What got you so mad you decided no more sex? Self-respect. There's a new trend. Beautiful, smart people who have vowed not to have sex. <laughs> this audience is too much. This is unbelievable. My guests today are all very attractive, but have vowed not to sleep with anyone unless they get married first. These beautiful women say it has nothing to do with AIDS or with religion and they don't even care if they die without ever having sex. First, let's meet Dawn Martin. She's a gorgeous model with a perfect body. She dates, but is proud to admit she hasn't had sex in almost three years. <laughs> this is not a religious issue. No. This is not an AIDS-related issue. Nothing. What is this issue to it's you? It's about self-respect, Christina. Um, I was born, I was raised in a very strict Catholic environment, and I still live by the values and principles that my mother instilled in me. I can't just throw those away, you know, after I reach a certain age. I, I can't do that. And for me, celibacy allows me to find real love. Because when you really think about it, what it comes down to, we're not looking for sex, we're looking for love. And you're not going to find that in sex. It really forces you to see what kind of relationship are you in. Are you in a sexual relationship? Or, uh, you know, are you in a relationship because it's a healthy relationship and, you know, the person appreciates you for who you are. And not for your body. 
You have become more desirable. You have had yes. more marriage more proposals marriage proposal. since you became celibate. I can't believe it. I mean, I get about one marriage proposal per month. But for me, it's a wedding night. And just think how electrifying my honeymoon is going to be. Because you're, you're, <laughs> right, right. you're going back. I, I tell men up front, you know, that if you're looking for sex, you know, if you're, if you're looking at my legs or my breasts, what you need to do is really look at me for who I am. Um, Yes. And, you know, your mom, your mom supports you. My mother supports me. Your friends thousand. laugh at you. They laugh at me. They say, Dawn, you're just wasting your gorgeous body away. This is my body. If I'm not going to be in control with my body, who's going to be in control? That's right. That's right. And you know, yeah. I, just, I just want to say, if a man drops you because you would not have sex, will not have intercourse with him, that is solid proof that you did not have a relationship to begin with. That's right. Yes, right. ma'am. <laughs> so it's incredible that somebody like her would be celibate. Uh, look at that. What do you think? Isn't that arousing? Yeah. Well, isn't this a little bit contradictory to what you're saying? Of it's like, come not. and get it, and then not. No, why you can know? I why can I still be feminine? Why? I mean, why do I have to go around wearing a maxi dress? Looking like a nun. Yeah, I mean, I'm not okay. a nun. All right, it shows. It's good. I approve. Don, I agree with you 100%, and you can be a great role model for me. I agree with Don that they're luxury.